Scruffy Church TV! <laughs> welcome! You are welcome to Scruffy Church TV, a wonderful service for all ages. My name's Philip. I'm a vicar here in Bath and Lizzie, my wife, is behind the camera. She would love to be on Scruffy TV, desperate to be on Scruffy TV, but she's not scruffy enough. She's far too glam. She's the glamourer operator, Lizzie. So, but thank you for doing that. And it's great to welcome you wherever you're watching, whenever you're watching. It's great to be together on Scruffy Church TV. And we've got a great service for you today, for all of us today. Now, shout out, a shout out to Jane and Sue, who let us know that they love watching Scruffy Church TV on a Sunday morning with a cup of tea. So welcome and a uh, shout out to you. Also to the Avramenko family. Andrew Avramenko has been licensed. Last week he was licensed by the bishop and he is now part of our clergy team here in, in, in this church here in Bath. So welcome to you and Elaine, his wife, to Josh, his son, and to Abigail, his daughter, who starts her new school on Monday or last Monday, if you're watching it after Monday, if you see what I mean. But hope it goes really well. We'll be praying for you a bit later, but a big shout out to the Avramenko family. So thank you for all you're doing and giving to Scruffy Church TV. Now this bit is where you look at what you need today. It's really simple today. We just need some pieces of paper, not, nothing fancy, just plain old copy of paper and some nice pens. It's nice to have pens today, I think, with soft nibs. And today's pencil of choice, everybody, is Bristol Zoo. Bristol Zoo. And the other thing you can collect together are two hats. Two hats is what we need today. And you can get those. You can stop the video and go and get those. I presume now you've got them. That's really good. And I think today we need a bit of a warm up. So everybody stand up. If anyone's sitting down, get them to stand up as well. And I think we'll start by clapping our hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands to praise God. Clap your hands high in the air, in the air, in the air. Clap your hands high in the air to praise God. Now everybody pat the floor, pat the floor, pat the floor. Everybody pat the floor to praise God. Now everybody spin round, spin round, spin round. Everybody spin round to praise God. Now spin round and clap your hands. Spin round and clap your hands. Spin round and clap your hands to praise God. Now everybody lie down, lie down, lie down. Everybody lie down to praise God. Everybody go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Everybody go to sleep to praise God now. Everybody jump up and jump up and down to praise God. Now everybody jump and spin, jump and spin, jump and spin. Everybody jump and spin to praise God. Everybody shake your bottom, shake your bottom, shake your bottom. Everybody shake your bottom to praise God. Now everybody dance crazy, dance crazy, dance crazy. Everybody dance crazy, just to praise God. Now everybody sit down. Brilliant. Well done. Hope you're feeling a bit warmer up, warmer now. I am. Ah, it's time to pray. So sit as still as you can, as quietly as you can, and we're going to ask God to bless our time together. A lovely sound. God, you invented love. 
You plant love in the world and in all of us. And we pray that today you'll help that love to grow as we find out more about what it means to have Jesus as our friend and to praise you. Amen. If you've seen Scruffy Church before, then you will know what happens next because we have a Scruffy Church song and we're not afraid to sing it. Glam Lizzie on the words, here we go. Come on everybody, let's sing together. Sometime on a Sunday or any day I know where I'll be. Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! We're all family. What will we do this week? I'm sure it will be fun. With you and me and Jesus. So come on everyone. Two, three, four. Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! We're all family. Who's family? You and you and me. Oh, that's who. You and you and me. Are you sure? Yeah, you and you and me. We're God's family. We're God's family. We're God's family. Scruffy Church TV, everybody! were doing at dinner last night. Me and Glam Lizzie and our family were all sitting around and we played this game and we called it Choices. So we sort of took it in turns to imagine having a choice between two different things and you had to decide which one you wanted to keep and which one you would never have again. It's only a game but it's quite interesting. So for example, Pizza or pasta? <gasps> which one would you keep and which one would you not have again if you had to have that choice? That's a weird one. What about Haribo or chocolate? Haribo or chocolate, everybody. How would you choose? Broccoli or peas? <gasps> That's going to be easy for some people, but which one of those? Some people are going to say, oh, I'll have neither, but we only got to have one of those. How about... Cats or dogs? <gasps> Don't let India hear. Cats or dogs? India's our dog. What about chairs or tables? Interesting. Or how about trees or grass? Trees or grass? You can play that game. You can put whatever choices you like and see what people say. Now we're going to tell a story now. I love this story and it's got people in it who have to choose. They have to choose between rock and sand. Rock and sand. I love reading my scruffy Bible. I love the stories of Jesus. And there's a great bit in Matthew's Gospel where he talks about how do you live the best way you can, the way that God loves us to live. How do we live like that? And that's what Jesus talked about and that's what he showed us in his life all the time. How we can live the best that we can be. And he says, look, if you listen to these things that I'm saying, if you watch how I live and you do those things, then, you know, imagine if your life is like a house, it's like building your house on solid ground, on a rock. And if you don't, it's like building it on something like, like sand. That's what he said. That's the story in here. And that's the story I'm going to tell you now. <clears throat> so sit nice and comfortably. No, I'm not going to tell you the story. <laughs> I'm going to show you the story. Get your hats ready. We're going into a brand new bit of the scruffy rectory. Into the scruffy front garden. Now, this is a story of two builders. And what's interesting is that we've actually got some building work over there. Look, we've got some building work that's going to happen quite soon. So. Just making sure I've got everything because it's a bit windy today. And there we go. Oh. Uh, there we go. Right. Sorry about that. The wind's blown the stuff all over the place. 
These, this is the story of two builders. And here's the first builder. Put your first hat on. Hello there, ha. My name is Hilder, Hilder Rock. They call me Hilda the Builder, that's right. <laughs> or um, Rocky, uh, yeah, see Rocky comes from rock. You see, it's, my, it's not rocket science. <laughs> Or rocky silence, in fact. <laughs> anyway, I'm Hilda Rock and I'm going to build a house. Now, I've got my got my lovely tools here. Look, especially that. Don't, don't drop a WG-40. That does everything, that does. Got all the sort of tools in there. I'm ready to build. Now, what I do need, I need to find some nice rock to build on. Now, where is that to? Oh, there we are. Look. Ah, nice bit of solid rock. Ah, proper job. There we are. Now then, well, I'm going to build my house. There we go, look. There, yeah, look at that, a lovely house. I'm going to put my roof on and then some fancy bits on the top, which not only look good, but it's a bit windy today, so that's going to keep that roof on, I hope. There we go. Ah, lovely. There's my house. Now, there was another builder and he was called Alexander Rupert Toby Toby Barthampton Smythe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now I'm going to build a house too, but um, I don't think I'm going to build mine on rock because have you ever tried lying on rock? Have you? I mean, it's really hard. You lie down on rock and you get all sort of knobbly back afterwards. Now, so I want a house where I can walk out of the front door and be on the beach. That would be lovely. I can lie down on the sand and have a lovely time and then eat the sandwiches that Mummy's given me for my lunch. <laughs> so uh, let's have a look. What do I... Ah, look, here's my bucket. There, lovely bucket. And, um, ah, some sand as well. So let's put this sand in the bucket, there we go. Ah, and ah, and ah, and ah, ah. bit more, I think. There we go. Now then, get rid of that, push it down nice and hard, and then turn it upside down. And there, that's lovely. Now, what I need to do now is to build my house just here. So let's do that, like that. Put the roof on like that. And then the fancy bits on the top, because it's a little bit windy. And there we are, that's my house, lovely right on the beach, ready for fun. But Jesus says, those houses, what will happen to them when it starts to rain and when the storms come? So here we go. Here comes the rain. Let's see what happens to these houses. Here comes the rain. There's the rain on the sand. There's the rain on the rock. Go on then, just go onto the rock there. What's gonna to happen to these two houses? Whoa, there's the rock, there's the sand. There's the rock, there's the sand. Oh, oh, look what's happening, it's starting to crumble. Ah, it's fallen down, whee. Oh, completely broken down. And Hilda the Builder said, ha! Jobs are good. And Alexander, who was called Sandy, said, I want my mummy. <laughs> have you got your hats? Oh, there we go. Look at that. That was great. I have to tell you a secret of Scruffy Church that we didn't practice that before because we didn't know we would have enough sand and it worked. So we're really pleased. Let's go back in to the scruffy sitting room. Now, let's get your hats all ready. Now, normally on Scruffy Church TV, we sing a song, but we're going to do a rhyme today. And actually, there's a bit of a, there's a, bit of a trick in this one. If you've got, if you've got your mum and dad and grown-ups with you, ask them to go out of the room for a minute, because well, I'm going to teach you this, and it's got a bit of a surprise in it for them. So you get your hats ready. Remember which is your, 
your wise and which is your foolish. And we'll start with the wise. The wise woman built her house upon the rock. The wise woman built her house upon the rock. The wise woman built her house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. And the rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. Brilliant. Other hat. The foolish man built his house on the sand. The foolish man built his house on the sand. The foolish man built his house on the sand. And the rain came tumbling down. And the rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the sand fell flat. <laughs> there, call them back in again now and we'll do it again, but don't tell them about the end and then you can find the life out of them. Right, okay everybody, hello grown-ups, welcome back again. Yes, welcome back. We're going to do a nice gentle rhyme for you. So just copy the actions and let's do it all together. The wise woman built her house on the rock. The wise woman built her house upon the rock. The wise woman built her house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. Here we go. And the rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. <laughs> the foolish man built his house on the sand. The foolish man built his house on the sand. The foolish man built his house on the sand. And the rain came tumbling down. And the rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the sand fell flat! <laughs> Did the jump. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. We're going to pray. So get your piece of paper and your pens. And we're going to go into the room that we use to pray here. Thank you, Glam Lizzie, for opening the door. And in we come. Now, we're going to make something first before we pray. So, we're going to think about, it's okay to say build your house on the sand, build your life on Jesus, but what does he actually mean? Right, so what we're going to do, you're going to get your piece of paper, two pieces of paper, get your piece of paper like this, and we're going to make a square. This might be a bit tricky, so you might need to do it a few times. Definitely ask a grown-up to help you if you can. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this corner here right up to the top there, so that it's all flat there like that and then make a crease in there and then you're going to cut this bit off i'm going to be lazy and use my ruler like that there we go now you should have a nice square of paper and you fold that over like that there we go so now you've got a cross of folds on your piece of paper. So we were thinking about what it means to build your life on Jesus. Well, it means to live the way that Jesus thinks is the best way for us, how to be a good friend to Jesus, how Jesus can be a good friend to us. So imagine, remember that game we were playing, you had to choose. Imagine you had like a new friend. Would you want them to be like rich or kind? interesting isn't it because if they were rich you could they'd have a massive house and you could go and they'd probably have things you can play on and, and everything but you'd want you wouldn't want them to be horrible you'd probably want them to be kind wouldn't you or imagine you had a friend that you had to popular or faithful so popular part of the people at school who like are really cool and everybody really liked but maybe they wouldn't sort of treat you very nicely maybe they'd, they'd forget you sometimes or would you like someone who was faithful 
someone who was, or you always knew was going to be your friend all the time? Or would you like a friend who had lots of things or was good at sharing? I mean, they could have lots, they could have a fantastic computer, they could have loads of toys, they could have loads of sports stuff, they could have a tennis court, a swimming pool, they could have loads of things. But if you want to share it with you, it wouldn't be so good. Sharing is a, is a really good thing. And I think that's what Jesus is saying, that those things, it's those things like being kind, and being sharing and being faithful, those are the, the really important things in life. And I remember there's a man called Sir Cliff Richard who's a singer and he's not quite so well known now, but a few good few years ago when I was a bit younger, he was really famous. I mean, he was world famous. He was like Tom Jones or I don't know, anybody you can think of who's really, really famous, Kylie Minogue. Everybody knew who he was. And I was at this sort of event thing. I was at this, um, uh, this thing where there were lots of people there and he was there as well because he was going to be singing later in the day. And I remember I went to the loo and as I came out of the loo in this corridor, who should come through the door opposite but Sir Cliff Richard into this corridor? And there was just me and Sir Cliff Richard together. Imagine that. The, the most famous person you could think of. You're face to face with him. On the, and I said, oh, hello, Sir Cliff. And he said, hi, what's your name? And I told him what my name was. And what do you say? So I said, um, oh, so Sir Cliff, um, uh, what, what are you doing at the moment? And he started to tell me about this new world tour that he was doing, that he was really excited about. But about two minutes into talking to me, the door behind him opened and this whole group of people came in and said, oh, Cliff, so Cliff, oh, lovely. And they all went and surrounded him and there was lots of kissing, and they were all chatting away. And I turned to go and I heard Sir Cliff say, uh, actually, guys, can you just hold on a sec? I, I haven't finished over here. And he came back over to me and he finished answering the question I'd asked him. And then he asked me how I was and what I was doing and was finding out about me. And then when we'd finished the conversation, he said, well, it's been really nice talking to you. And he turned around and he went back to his friends. And I've never forgotten that. It was probably about 30 years ago. I've never forgotten that. Because even though he was like one of the most famous singers in the world, and even though he was very rich and he was very successful, what I remember was that he took the time to be kind to me and to share that conversation we had. Because he probably thought, well, this, he's never going to get a chance to meet me again. And I never did. But there we are. So that, that, that's what I mean. I think that's what Jesus means. So what we're going to do, we're going to build a, a dice or die of kindness and goodness. So what you what you do here, you get your piece of paper like this, like that, and then you pick up two bits like that and you squash it together so it's that shape, see? And then you flatten it so you get a nice triangle like that. You can stop it and have another go at that if you like. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this quite slowly. So now you get your triangle like that and you pick up a corner there and then you take it up to the top like that, okay? And then you get another corner and you take that up to the top like that and you make sure it's nice and flat. Then you turn it over, I've got sand all over my hands. There we go, and you fold that up to the top like that. And you put that like that and then you fold the last one up to the top. I've got the, lost the corner on that one, it doesn't matter. And you squash that on. So you, now you've got a square. So you turn it so that the point is at the top. Now this is a tricky bit. You get one of these bits here and you fold it up so that the point goes into the middle like that. Okay, turn it round and you pick up this corner and you point it so it makes another square in the middle there. And then you turn it over, turn that one up like that. And you turn that one up like that. So that's the shape that you've got now. Now, if you have a look at this, on one end, it's fairly solid. At the other end, you've got lots of flappy bits. So you put the flappy bits at the bottom, you see that? And then you take that corner and you fold it over there, like that. Now, this is a tricky bit. You take this bit, have a look in there. You open it up, that's it, like that and then you tuck it inside like that. I'm gonna show you again. So you fold that corner 
over to that side there. You open up the little pocket there and then you tuck the point right into there like that. Okay, don't please don't worry if it's too hard. You can always have a go later on. And if you don't want to do this now, then you can just share the one that I'm doing with me. Okay, so we put that in there like that. And the last one we point turn that point up to there. Take your finger, make a nice pocket there. Tuck that by like putting a handkerchief in your pocket into there like that. And fold it down and then press it really hard like that. Now, take one of your pens. I'm going to take the purple one. Take it like that. And then draw a line across there and another one across there. And on the top, we're going to write joy like that. That's why it's better with a pen than a pencil. Is. So we're going to write joy on the top of there. And on this side, we're going to write love like that. Okay. Now we're going to come to the middle bit. On this bit, we're going to write creative. God created the world and all that's in it and helps us to be created, to make things. And now we turn it over, draw another line, top and bottom. Now on this side, you can just draw a nice face. <laughs> and on this side, you can draw a nice face as well. Now across this bit, we're going to write courage. That means when you're being brave, okay? Now you pick it up and you open up the other bit, so like that. Okay, and you do a line across there, a line across there, draw another face on there, draw another face on there. And on this bit, we're going to write thankful. Okay, and you turn it over again, draw another line and another line. You can draw another lovely face, draw Whoops. Another one there. Okay, and the last one we're going to write faithful like that. Okay, now my favorite bit. I love the fact that when we think about God's Holy Spirit, we think about God's Spirit living in us. And at the moment, this is just a bit boring, a bit flat like that. But we're going, to, we're going to put the Holy Spirit into this. So watch this. Are you ready? I'm just going to blow. You find the end with the hole in it. Blow really gently. Here we go. Ready? There we go. There. And that is our prayer die. So I'm going to throw this. And whatever we have, we're going to pray for. So are you ready? What's the first one? Thankful. Loving God, we thank you for all the good things you've given us. Thank you for Scruffy Church TV and for our families and friends. And just in the quiet, just think, what are you thankful for today? We offer you our thanks, loving God, that you are our friend, Jesus. Help us to be good friends to you. Okay, let's roll again. Here we go. It's thankful again. Let's roll again. It's creative. Thank you that you made the world and us. And thank you that you help us to make things as well. Thank you for, for drawing and for dancing and for singing, for making music. And thank you for the friendships that we have. And when we're good friends, then love grows. Love is created there. And we thank you for those. All right, what's next? It's all, oh, we're very thankful today. Oh, we're incredibly thankful today. And we're creative as well. There we go. Love. Thank you, loving God, for all the love you give to us. Help us to love other people. So who are we going to pray for today, do you think? We're going to pray for... We're going to pray for Abigail as she goes to her new school. We pray that she may be so happy there to go to that new school. 
pray that she may enjoy the love of that school, that she may give love to it. We're going to pray for her. We're praying for a friend called Amelia, who's not very well. And we're praying for Ellie and Lorna, who are having babies. And we're praying for Jane, who has got an important interview coming up. And we're going to pray for a group of people here in Bath who are doing a holiday club this summer. And that is a song that I wrote for it this week. It's called Unlikely Hero. And it's the whole holiday club is going to be called Unlikely, Ho uh, Unlikely Hero. So we pray for them as well. What else are we going to have? We've had creative. We've had love. This is great. We're having a lot of courage. Lord God, give us the courage, the strength to follow your way, to do what is right and good, to be kind and to be faithful, to share. It's often harder to do those things, but we pray that you'll give us the courage to do that. And the final one, I'm not going to chance doing this, but faithful. Thank you that you are faithful to us and help us to be good friends to you and one another. In Jesus name. Amen. Right. Let's say together the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that Jesus taught us. So we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And interestingly, the bit in the Bible where Jesus teaches us the words of that prayer is in the same bit of the Bible as the story of the two builders. So that's great. Come on in, we're going to sing our last song together now. And this is a song that has lots of those things in it that we've been talking about. It's got joy, it's got peace, it's got love. So let's sing this together. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Keep me praising till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me peace in my heart, keep me resting. Give me peace in my heart, I pray. Give me peace in my heart, keep me resting. Keep me resting till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Keep me serving till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Last verse. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Good singing. Now, one of the things we've been praying for every week in Scruffy Church TV are the people who look after us and help us. And I forgot to pray when we were in there. I forgot to pray. So we're going to pray for the NHS and all the people who look after us, all the police and the armed services and the emergency services and people who care, people who serve us food, people who look after us. We're praying for them as well. 
Ah, oh, it's been great being with you today on Scruffy Church TV. We've done so many things and I've got loads of sand in my shoes, and, uh, but that's fine because we've had a good time. So have a really good week and remember those things. Remember about being kind and being faithful, being sharing, being courageous to live life for God. And put your hand out like this and feel that warmth of God's love coming through the screen onto your hand. Loving God, bless us as we go through this week. Help us to know that you are our friend in Jesus and help us to be friends to all people, to be loving and courageous and faithful in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Andrew, for editing this together. Thank you, Glamourer Lizzie, for operating. And we'll see you soon on Scruffy Church TV. Scruffy Church TV!